Good morning. Oh, oh, ah, wait. Mm. It's 9 a.m., but I'm looking quite fresh for an early bird. Today, I am doing my second ever letting the person in front of me choose what I eat for 24 hours video. That's such a long title. I always forget how to say it. I swear, but this time I slayed it. Last time was so much fun. I went to um, McDonald's. That was a good breakfast. And then I went to Taco Bell for lunch. It was all steak, nasty, disgusting. And then I went to Arby's for dinner and that, that was the best meal. It was like a chicken sandwich and like curly fries, iconic. Well, today I am going to Burger King for breakfast, Popeye's for lunch, and Wendy's for dinner. It's gonna be quite the full experience. I am a little nervous once again, you guys know, with, with my stutter, asking for weird requests does make me extra nervous, but it's okay because last time I calmed myself down and I slayed it. So I'm just gonna do the same thing today. Stay calm, use my little techniques, and eat <laughs> in multiple ways. Today's one of those busy, busy days. Like, first of all, I have to go out and eat three times. I have to go to the gym and my dog Tamale has some sort of a, it looks like an allergic reaction or a skin infection on his tail. And I was like, I'm taking him in right away. So I have to take him to the vet in a few hours. Also, you guys might see him in the back seat. Um, but anyways, guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps me out. And it's the easiest way to support me, okay? So be a nice person, come on. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make tons of food content. I taste test all the brand new items. I stay at hotels, which I'm staying at another one this month. It's June, get excited. I taste test the room service. It's a great time. Anyways, let's go through the drive through. I wonder if my king, my Burger King zaddy, remembers Your me. Your destination is on the right. I know it is. Why is she like this? Oh. This car wants to pass. Okay, he's speeding in a parking lot. Not a cute look. Okay. I have to like twist around. Hold on. Okay. We are finally actually going through the drive through. Okay. Let's do this. I got this. I'm nervous a little bit. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm good. Um, can I just get the same thing that the last person got? Like the same order? The same order as the last person? Yes, the exact same order. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. You could drive off food. Okay. I love it when it's a mystery. He didn't tell me. Oh my god. <laughs> I got nervous, but I still did it. It's fine. My stomach hurts a little bit. Hello, so how are you? I had an egg and cheese. Okay. <laughs> it's, it is totally fine. Do not worry. Either way, it's it works. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's a tic tac me. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Look, he knows about that kind of stuff. Yeah. They better not come here all day with that they're going to be one of ten persons. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. 993. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tap it. You can tap it. Oh, I can't. I don't know if this card's new enough to tap, to be honest. Okay. I might have to put it in. Thank you. So So what's the benefit Um, it's just a post on social media for like fun. Just a fun little like challenge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ooh, orange juice. 50 Whoppers? Oh, I would pass out. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to eat them all. <laughs> Oh no, it's fine. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. 
she was so nice okay so the guy that took my order was like don't tell her don't tell her everyone calls me her they always think that I'm a her because of my voice it is totally fine not a big deal but that was so nice of him and then they were all like kind of like frazzled but then she was so nice about it oh my gosh she was like what's the benefit <laughs> Girl, there is not. I'm just a pig. That made my day. I love like having like an actual like interaction. I'm gonna park here under this tree. So she said it was an egg and cheese something, but luckily I didn't hear the whole thing. Hopefully we have a side too, because I am hungry. Okay. Ah! Doors are locked. Let's feast. I'll get my thumbnail later, because this lighting is not it, girl. Table's on. Okay, so first things first, we have a simply orange pulp free orange juice when i was a kid i hated pulp i thought it was so disgusting um but now i don't mind at all but this is pulp free so i guess it's even better um something that i still hate fruit in yogurt okay i'm not talking about fresh fruit i am talking about the fruit at the bottom where it's like a little blobs as a kid i used to call them blobs i was like i don't want blobs in my yogurt and i still don't like them okay I'm so thirsty Oh, I smell something sweet. Like syrupy. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. Maybe it's French toast sticks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was so thirsty. Oh my gosh, you guys have been telling me that I drink way too fast. I can't help out. Anyways, let's open up this bag. <sighs> there is something sweet in there. It's, oh yeah, decadent. Okay. Oh my gosh, hash browns, I'm so hyped, guys. Ah! <laughs> no, no, not Matayas. Okay, oh my gosh, they look so good. Now, what's next? <gasps> French toast sticks, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Ah, what a feast. We have syrup, okay. This is like the best breakfast so far, guys. Well, I, <laughs> this is my second one, but still. And then we have a croissant, which, what's on it? Definitely egg, but what else? Oh, it's just egg and cheese. Ah, no meat! Listen. Breakfast sandwiches only have flavor because of the meat on them, the sausage or the bacon. But it's fine, it's not a big deal. I'm not complaining. This is a very, very good order. Whoever got this had amazing taste. Besides the meat. So, oh my gosh. Hash browns. Mm. You know, I always drag like BK's fries and their chicken nuggets, but they have good hash browns. Crispy, buttery, flaky. They, they are extremely crispy and they really honestly just taste like a tater tot but I adore tater tots so much so I'm fine with that mmm okay let's try the sandwich The croissant, croissant is actually decent. It tastes like pretty good quality. I'm kind of shooketh. Obviously, <laughs> they're not baking croissants fresh in the back. This is not a French bakery, girl. But for a processed croissant, it's good. I'm enjoying this, you know? Even without the meat, I feel like it has its own buttery flavor. You know what it is? I feel like the eggs and the cheese really let the croissant stand out and it really is the main star of this sandwich the cheese does add some saltiness and the eggs add some texture but otherwise it just tastes like a really buttery croissant i'm here for it 100 not good by the way you know this is random but I've been getting a few random complaints on my channel. Like, 
someone told me to stop talking about the fact that I'm half Cuban because it's just like annoying. And then a few other people told me to stop screaming about food. And I'm like, I genuinely don't even realize that I'm screaming until I'm editing the video that I'm like, oh my gosh, I, w I was screaming so much. I can't help it. And honestly, back in the day, even just a couple months ago, that would have gotten to me and I would have tried to make those people happy and satisfied. But now that I'm a driver and I'm <laughs> everything's changing because I'm a driver and I'm just getting more confident in myself and who I am as a person, I am not trying to make everyone happy as well. Of course, I'm not perfect. I still sometimes do, but as much as I used to, to be honest, I used to just always really take every comment to heart and I'd be like, okay, I'm being too annoying. I'm being too this, too that. And I'm just like, the gag is if I did what certain people wanted me to do, then other people are going to get mad at what I'm doing now. And then literally, you just literally can't please everyone. So don't even try girls. That is my advice of the day. So this is a three piece French toast. Ooh. <laughs> I used to hate when um, people said he he he, but now me and my sister say it all the time because we're just sneaky like that. And now I love saying it. Mmm. Oh, it's so trashy, but in a good way. You know what I mean? It's like doughy in the middle. Mmm. This is good. They almost taste like they've been soaked in like syrup or something. Well, <laughs> I'm dipping into syrup, but they taste like they've been soaked in, in like a simple syrup. They're just so soggy and moist. Oh, I love it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I am so impressed by this person's taste. Truly. I feel like They are that girl. She is the moment. Mm. Of course, because this is a letting the person in front of me choose what I eat for 24 hours challenge and not a food review. I'm not critiquing the food itself. I'm just critiquing the person's taste buds. So we're being judgmental today, girlies. <laughs> okay. Mm. I think I'm going to give this person's taste buds a solid 9 out of 10. I feel like with a little bit of bacon on the sandwich, it would be a 10. But otherwise, they really slay their breakfast choices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I just, I think that my favorite part of this whole breakfast is this French toast moment. It's my last one, I'm sad. So I think I'm going to the gym after this. Girl, going to the gym full, unless if it's like full of like a protein shake, is <laughs> not a fun experience. I always end up burping so much. Because when you lift weights, it already makes you want to burp a little bit, right? So when I'm full, I'm just like, <laughs> no, I don't do that. I'm dainty about it. I'm like, you know? French toast sticks are gone. Mmm. Uh. So, I always thought that this was kind of like a new challenge. It turns out people have been doing this challenge for like five years. <laughs> and I'm really late to the party. But to me, it feels so fresh and so new. Have you guys seen Black Widow? Florence Pugh? She's so iconic. I always quote her in that movie. She's like, to me, you were everything. And then she's also like, it was real to me. It was real to me. You were my mother. You were my real mother. Mm. Queen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. French toast is gone. Sandwich is gone. Another plane, another bus. 
I just have hash browns left. I might save some for later because I'm going to get too full. And I have to eat lunch in like three hours. You know? So, yeah, I'm going to save those, but such a good start to the video. Super nice Burger King employees. Super good food. We are eating, we're slaying, we're living, right? So, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys for lunch. Ooh. Okay, so I am here at the vet. I'm gonna drop off my my little baby, my poo poo. You guys wanna see him? Come here, baby. Come here. Gets very nervous when he's out of the house. He's a he's a very delicate flower. So you might be thinking, Timmy, why do you own the dragon from the Neverending Story? I don't know, girl. I was told he was a cavapoo, but he's actually a dragon. Poor thing. He has he has like some sort of rash or like infection on his tail. He has like very sensitive skin and he's had other skin infections in the past. So I'm just hoping that it's an easy fix. Maybe just some cream, you know? He's so nervous. Don't be nervous. You're fine. Anyways, I'm gonna drop him off and I'll see you guys for lunch. Mwah. Okay, so I am in the Wendy's drive through line. I was gonna have Wendy's for dinner, but then I was like, I just kind of feel like that for lunch more than Popeyes. And then Popeyes feels like the main event. Like that can be dinner, you know? So that's what I'm doing. Once again, I'm a little bit nervous. It's just been a very busy day. So I'm just kind of like, oh, <laughs> frazzled. We're going forward. Guys, the line is pretty long. Wendy's is popping. She was like, you know me, the red-headed popular girl <laughs> down on the farm, feeding the cows, you know? Love her. Like I said, I dropped off poo, -poo at the vet and um, they're gonna do a skin test and they're gonna clean the area and like probably shave it i was like if you have to shave it shave his whole tail i don't care i just i want to get rid of this okay so the person in front of me is in a mazda what is a mazda i don't even know i don't know cars that much besides like my own car you know and like teslas because they're famous and people in them like to get steak at taco bell remember last time <laughs> i can't worst taste ever i'm just kidding but um oh my gosh i hope that the person in front of me orders ghost pepper fries <laughs> I'm craving like a greasy, saucy fry, you know? If they get a salad, I'm gonna actually cry. Cause first of all, salads are only good in a big bowl. Eating them in the car is like, you just can't enjoy them, you know? Cause like you can't fully mix them, everything. Hi, welcome to Lynn. Hello, how are you? Good. I'm good too. Uh, why is that? Um, can I get the same order as the person in front of me, like the same exact thing. Uh-huh. And that's it. Sure. Yes, positive. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. He said, are you sure? I'm scared. What, what did they get? <laughs> did they get the whole menu? How? Oh my gosh. I'm panicking. Don't tell me they got the crispy panko fish sandwich. I swear. I just saw Little Mermaid. I'm not in the mood to eat fish. I've never been in the mood to eat fish. I'm just not that kind of girl. <sighs> I kind of slayed it though. Um, <laughs> when I asked him, how are you? And he said good. I was like, I'm good too. What's wrong with me? Okay. Hello, how are you? Good. Sorry. Is that two eat Uh, I think so. Yeah. Thank you so much. You too. Hello, how are you? You want a cup holder? Oh, sure. Thank you. What did I get? How many cups? Thank you. Uh, just pull up behind them. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Pulling up behind them. Okay. Um. So this person is like parked literally at the exit of the drive through so, I don't know. I'm just assuming that they're going to bring it out to me. Oh, they are. They're bringing it out to people. Okay, bye-bye. So, there's three 
large drinks. At least I have options, but oh my gosh. Wait, how much was it? I didn't even see. I didn't hear her. I was so focused. Wait, I wasn't focused. How much was it, girly? Do I have the receipt? Did she tell me how much it was? I don't remember. Maybe the receipt's in the bag. I'll just <laughs> have to guess. So it's probably three full meals. I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers. I'm not gonna waste this food, obviously. But I'm gonna sugar it. I'll definitely share it with Alejandro. He'll have some Wendy's tonight, that's for sure. But of course, if it's like different items, I'm gonna eat a little bit of everything and then he can have my leftovers. <laughs> Guys, today is such a hot, nasty weather day. Like, personally, I like the sun, but I don't like it when it's a taco man. You know, I hate that. Coming out. Okay, three bags, three bags. Oh. Thank you so much. You have a good day, okay? You too. Have, have a great day. day. Okay? Thank you. You got all your drinks? Yes, I have okay. three. Thank you. Oh, okay. Doors locked. Park. What? What is it? What is the same money? Let's eat. So first things first, I don't have a receipt, so I have no clue what kind of drinks these are. Ugh. Do I have straws? Um, I don't think they gave me any straws. Okay, no straws today. <laughs> and I don't wanna go back, guys. Not for straws. It's just, that's too small, you know? Or, um, Sierra Mist. Apparently now Sierra Mist is called Starry. Who is she? She thinks she's a star and she's never gonna be Sprite. Now let's see what this one is. What is that? Tastes like Dr. Pepper mixed with Sprite. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just Pepsi. <laughs> I don't know, but it's something different. And then this last one. Oh, it's dripping on me. I think that's the same. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save two of those. Okay, so let's start looking at the food itself, right? Now, I did see like a tiny bit in and out of the bag because I was checking for straws and I saw fries, but that's all that I saw. First bag. Fries. Okay. Ah! Medium, reasonable. Guys, I'm not just judging one person's taste buds today. I am judging a whole family's. What kind of burger is this? Feels small. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girl, I think that is the son of the Baconator, okay? It's like a smaller version of the Baconator. It has bacon, mayonnaise, ketchup. Not my favorite, but it's still a burger. A burger's a burger, so it's always gonna taste decent, you know? And then, next bag, we have another medium fries. I will save that for Alejandro, so I'm putting that back. And another burger. Oh no, are they all the same, guys? I hope not. Uh, another son of the Baconator. Okay, we got two of them, queen, for sure. You might be thinking to me, how can you tell what sandwich it is at first glance? Girl, this is my job. I take my job seriously. I'll save this one from the hundred too. Okay, that's a full dinner right there, literally. So love that. Ah, I see nuggets! Wait, are those nuggets? Oh my God. Ah, nuggets! Oh, they're not spicy, but they're still nuggets. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I always get what I want. And more fries, okay. I'm gonna put these fries into the other bag. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait, we have barbecue sauce too. Yay, for the nuggets. Two of them. Oh my God. Okay, not bad. So, I did get some doubles and triples of different items, but I have Son of the Baconator, McNuggets, and fries. I think that's a pretty good meal. I love nuggets, I'm so hyped. Wendy's nuggets, honestly, are pretty fantastic. Of course, they taste processed and they're kind of foamy, but out of all the trashy, foamy nuggets in the fast food game, I think they have the best ones. Okay. 
Oh yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Wendy's barbecue sauce isn't fantastic, to be honest. It's very smoky, which I like, but it's not tangy enough to balance out the smokiness, to be honest. But it still works as a chip. It's fine. Mmm. And it's very sweet, though. Fries. Wendy's fries by themselves truly have no flavor <laughs> this is a dragging wendy's video right here okay sorry girly go back to the farm queen yeah they just don't have much flavor or like salt and they're not that crispy they're just kind of meh but when they have toppings on them like the baconator fries or the chili cheese fries they're fantastic because they're a nice kind of flavorless base you know, I'm enjoying this though. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Baconator, let's go in girls. Mmm, pretty good today. Better than I remember. Mm-hmm. It's extremely meaty, but I think that because this is the smaller version, it's not as extremely meaty, you know? I just wish that Miss Wendy added some fresh toppings to the Baconator. I really do think that would make it so much better. You know? I miss like, I miss having straws. Guys, I have a question. I really support the earth, you know? She's our queen. We live on her. I have an electric car. Not for those reasons, to be honest, but it does help the earth, right? I have it to save money and just cause it's easier. <laughs> but what I'm saying is I support the earth, I do. But my question is, why are straws such a big deal out of all the things in the world? Like, doesn't this cup take up much more plastic than a straw? So why make the straws paper? Why not make the cups paper? Right? Also, I've always been amazed at, at how much junk mail I get. Like, not in my email. Well, that too, but in my actual mailbox... I got like a hundred pages of just like coupons and like weird ads and all these things. And it's like, isn't that hurting the earth? That's like everyone just throws those things away instantly. It's such a waste. I don't know. Very interesting, right? This is by far my biggest challenge order. The letting the person in front of me pick what I eat for 24 hours challenge order ever. Isn't it? Three whole meals. So I get to save a burger and two fries. That's kind of iconic though. All the hundreds going to feast tonight. Tonight, we feast like kings. <laughs> What's that from? It's from a movie, I think. Mmm. I'm I'm really enjoying the Baconator today. Like, they put a lot of ketchup and a lot of mayo, and it's really kind of bringing it to life. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So... I'm gonna be real full, full after this. I'm probably not gonna film until like five or six, to be honest. Oh, I have to pick up Poo Poo before 5.30. So maybe I'll pick him up, drop him off at the house, and then go and um, 
film dinner. <laughs> Popeyes. Mm. Mmm. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, most of you guys like my car videos, right? But some of you have been asking me to go back to the kitchen. You've been like, Timmy, please make some videos in your kitchen. And girl, I totally get you. Sometimes change is hard. But I will say, I enjoy filming in my car. 10 times more and I feel like when I'm enjoying my job I make better content you know no I am actually filming in my kitchen this week for something you'll see so it's not going away forever but I just really enjoy filming in the car the food is fresh I'm you know I've always worked from home and filming in my car kind of mentally keeps work and home kind of separate. It's like I get to go out, work, and then I come home. Do you get me? And it's been really good for me, I feel. I just love it. Getting full. I'm not gonna eat much of these fries. I'll have one more. Saving the rest. So, Alejandro has three fries. Good for him. Mmm. Mmm. This is my trash bag. This is my leftovers bag. It's so heavy. Okay. Ah! So, I'm gonna go home for a bit and I'll see you guys at dinner time. Okay, guys, it is 6 p.m. dinner time and I'm in the Popeyes drive through. I'm excited. I am hungry but i also have like a greasy feeling in my belly from the wendy's so i'm like empty but also greasy it's 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 a weird sensation so i need more greasy food to cover up the old grease you know oh they have a new mango lemonade listen i'm i'm not that into lemonades or like frozen drinks but a lot of you guys are and i have to start taste testing them more i swear hello welcome to Popeyes. hello how are you uh Good. Um, I'm good. Uh, can I get the same order that the person in front of me got? The same thing? Yeah, the exact same thing. The, so, like the whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. Uh, give me one sec. Thank you so much. So, I can't, so, well, the person got it was like a code, and I only know one of the codes, but okay. the second one I don't know. Okay, um. I just found out the only one. Uh, that's totally fine. Um, it's a Coke that you said? That you don't know the Coke? Uh, no, the person that came was, she got a two and dime. Okay. Um, yeah, sure, I'll just get that. Alright, okay. You want a classic or spicy? Uh, spicy. Spicy? Yeah. And the uh, side? Um, what did she get? Uh, do you know or no? Uh, I think she got fries and the coleslaw. I'll get the same thing. Alright. Thank you. Uh, anything else? That's all. That would be Thank you so much. Thank you. I felt so bad because he seemed confused and I don't want to make their jobs any harder because like fast food is already very stressful. I feel bad. Oh, God. I feel bad about it for real, but he said something dinner and then I think it's fries and a coleslaw. I hate coleslaw, but I love fries. It's okay. <laughs> coleslaw is disgusting. Wait, but Popeye's coleslaw I think is decent from what I can remember. So we'll see. I look so good today. Oh, <laughs> I'm like looking at myself, I'm like, who is she? The beard is bearding, even though I still have that chunk that I accidentally shaved off. It's finally growing in. So we love that. By the way, I picked up Poo Poo. Um, it turns out that he had like a hot spot. It's like an infected piece of skin that gets very itchy. So they shaved his tail. It looks so funny, but 
they did what they had to do and they like thoroughly cleaned it and I'm gonna have to give him an antibiotic with his food and also um they gave me like a spray to spray onto the hot spot twice a day come on go forward this person is not going forward come on go I don't want to honk because that's awkward like we're in a okay there we go they're moving forward gosh that took a while girl pay attention we're at Popeyes you know I just bought a new truck and I thought maybe we could you know go to the football game and then your steak you know rub some dirt on it <laughs> okay Hello. Hi, how are you doing? You have five piece spicy with coleslaw and fries? Yes. All right, the total is $11.76. Any sausages, sir? Sausages? Uh, yes. Can I get the black, no, sorry, um, normal ranch and um, Mardi Gras mustard? Got it. Well, yes. um, buttermilk ranch and Mardi Gras. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a nice you too. Okay, so I guess the meal didn't come with a drink. <laughs> Sahara Desert Taste Test, guys. Well, not taste test, but nothing. Okay, let's go park somewhere. Okay, so are they tenders? Ooh, wait. What's in here? Fries. Mm, this is so good. I love Popeye's Cajun fries. We have forks. Well, that's a spork. Oh, Taco Bell's gonna be mad. We have two bomb egg biscuits. Oh my god. I love Popeye's dry, dry biscuits. People say that they're drier than a hockey puck, but to me, they're fantastic. I don't mind a dry biscuit if it's buttery and flaky, you know? Um, so this is the coleslaw. It actually smells kind of appetizing right now because I've had so much fried stuff today. This is something different, so, okay. And then we have buttermilk ranch, Mardi Gras mustard. Mardi Gras mustard is it, guys. If you haven't had it, try it. It's a party on your tender. Oh, <laughs> that sounded weird. Okay, this is a five piece. This feels extremely heavy for chicken tenders. Oh, what? Oh, it's actual fried chicken! Oh my gosh, a five piece fried chicken meal. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I haven't had Popeye's actual fried chicken in years. I always just um, get the tenders. Oh my God, I'm so hyped right now. Wow, this is an exciting meal. It's very big too, like two biscuits, five pieces of chicken, coleslaw and fries for like 11 bucks. That's not bad. Let's have some biscuit guys. Oh my God, when they're warm, Wow. I can tell that they baked these with the strawberry biscuits because they kind of taste a little strawberry-ish, <laughs> which I don't mind. Mm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I need a drink. It's fine. Um, ooh. Mm. I just love that salty coating on these biscuits. Oh my gosh. Just iconic. Okay. And then let's try the coleslaw. Okay. Like, I would never choose this, but. It's not bad. Definitely better than KFC's. Mmm. I'm liking it. Very pickly and crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet, but not too sweet. It's quite refreshing. I'm enjoying it. Okay, coleslaw. Kind of shook right now. Some fries. Mmm. Mmm. All of a sudden, I'm like extremely hungry now. <laughs> this fried chicken box is too big it's just taking up my whole table and it's really hard to have anything else on here okay is this all dark meat no wait i think this this one's white meat oh my it's so hot <gasps> ah oh my gosh that was so Ooh. 
Azati just arrived in a big blue truck. That's a huge truck, girly. You know what I always say? <laughs> it's like one of those trucks where like the wheels are like way underneath the car because they've like lifted the truck up. I don't know what that's called. That's manly stuff. Let me dip the fries into my um, ranch. Ooh. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mardi Gras mustard. Mmm. Fries and Mardi Gras mustard. Great combo. It's like a potato salad <laughs> moment, you know? Mmm. I'm gonna try to eat the chicken now. Mmm. Ah! Oh my god! That's incredible! There's nothing like Popeyes. Nothing. None of the other chicken places compare. To be honest, so juicy. It's so crispy. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Look at that beautiful juicy meat. It's legit so juicy. You can really taste the spice. And it's somehow never greasy. Like Popeyes really knows how to make chicken. This is not sponsored. I'm just a stand. I think I might prefer the fried chicken over the chicken tenders. It's like a whole different experience and it's just so juicy. Um it's hard to keep white meat juicy, and Popeyes does it. Mm. Mm. Wow, this is iconic. Let me dip the biscuit um, into the ranch. That works. And the mustard. Mm. My biscuit broke. That sounds painful. Mmm. I'm really enjoying this right now. This is it. Did you guys hear? Chick-fil-A is now supporting equality, apparently. They put out this like statement. I'm like, that's great. For real. I'm all for people changing. You know, also, I've always kind of wanted to talk about Chick-fil-A on my channel, but it's a very hot button topic, so it, it actually kind of scares me, <laughs> but I'm just going to talk about it. I will once in a while get Chick-fil-A. I have taste tested it, I think, one or two times on my channel. This is the thing. I know that they, like, supported horrible things in the past, and they donated to, like, horrible things in the past, but there's always been this, like, mixed messaging like, they've, like, said that they stopped supporting that stuff. And then people would, like, say that they still are and all this stuff. And it was just very confusing for me, especially as a food taste tester. That is, I've just always been kind of confused on, like, what they stand for. So I have never had a strong stance about it because I just don't know what's actually happening. Do you get me? So I just eat there sometimes. I talk about it sometimes. But I'm also not, like, go Chick-fil-A. But I'm also not, like, stop Chick-fil-A. Stop eating it, you know? I also don't want to be a hypocrite because... To be honest, I'm a huge Disney fan. I give Disney tons of my money. And up until recently, they were donating to horrible people and like horrible campaigns and all that stuff. I also shop at Publix who donates to horrible things and all these things. So I, I'm just kind of like, if I stop eating Chick-fil-A, do I stop shopping at Publix? Do I stop supporting Disney? All these different things. Because if I don't, then what's the point? Do you get me? Mm. But now that they put out a, a statement all about equality, I'm like, maybe I can start tasting stuff there without getting, you know, backlash. <laughs> uh -uh. It's just a confusing topic because I truly understand people that don't want to support it. But I also understand people that like their food and are used to eating it and continue to eat it. 
sometimes things just aren't black and white, you know what I mean? And that sometimes things are more nuanced and some issues. I don't know. That's just my take. I don't really have a take, to be honest. I'm, I'm just rambling, but... This is a thigh. And there goes Daddy with the truck. Mm. Mm hmm Sorry, it's so dark in here. This is why I hate filming at this time. The lighting's horrible. I think I'm gonna save the fries because I had fries earlier and I had potatoes for breakfast and I just don't feel like them. I've just had them too much today. But the biscuits though. Also, if you guys talk about Chick-fil-A in the comments below, just be nice to each other, please. I typically don't talk about things that are, you know, top button top bags. But it's just interesting. And I hope that they're actually supporting equality now. Because honestly, that's incredible. I'm the type of person that if someone changes, I will root for them. I'll be like, yes, this is good. We always ask people to change and like to support our community. And if we want them to do that, when they actually change, we have to support them back. Because that's what we are asking for, right? Make sense to me. So that was a fantastic meal. I have a lot of leftover chicken fries. No more biscuits though. See, I really love those biscuits, guys. And I ate most of the coleslaw. Kind of shook about that. Overall, fantastic dinner. Fantastic day of food. I had so much fun. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on trying... Oh my god, excuse me. Wait, do you guys plan on trying what? Nothing new came out. Let me know in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy this video? Do you want more of, of these types of things? Subscribe. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh. Bye, queen. Ah.